let me take you on a short trip to memory lane to the beginnings of bubble cloud widgets. Before Wear OS watches and before smart home control bubbles, which we have here, I'm going to show you what this app was originally created for. I think most of the users of Bubble Cloud widgets use it to start applications. And with iCompacts, this can be made really beautiful and exciting and different from other launcher widgets. If you buy the premium license, you will also be able to access your contacts via these bubbles. And I think with the new petal options, this is really practical and also exciting looking. But even before apps and contacts, the app was originally created for bookmarks. If you look at the package name, it's bookmark bubbles. My idea was to have a home screen with a handful of web pages that I regularly visit. And I couldn't find an app that was able to do this. So I created bookmark bubbles, which later became the bubble cloud widgets. Here you can see my frequently visited web pages. The bigger ones are visited more often the smaller ones are less often. This part of the app now got a big facelift. I'm going to show you now how to add a new bubble to this bubble cloud. It's different from other clouds because you have to initiate this from the web browser. So we go to Chrome and you see the Android Authority web page is already open. This is the bubble I want to create in my bookmark bubble cloud. You do that by sharing the web page to bookmark bubbles. In many browsers, you just need to go into share and in the share menu, you will see add bookmark bubble. You choose that. And bubble cloud widgets will load a preview of this web page for you. And if you look at the bottom of the screen, you will see two thumbnails there. The first one is derived from the favicon. It is to be used when the bubble is small. When the bubble grows bigger, it is going to use the other thumbnail, which is derived from the screenshot of the whole web page. It's okay, but it can be improved. In fact, if you zoom into this page, if you zoom around, you can see the thumbnail changed already and it's a little bit better because at least we can now see Android Authority displayed on the top of this thumbnail. But a new development in the app is this crop button, which if we click, we will be taken to the regular cropping screen and we can just resize this bubble to include the logo of the website, position it as perfectly as we can. You can see I could also rotate the website, but here I'm just going to hit the check mark and you can see how perfect that logo became, that bigger thumbnail. It's so good and it's so much better than the favicon that I'm actually going to turn off that favicon and only this bubble image is going to be used for small and bigger sized bubbles both. To add this bubble to our bubble cloud, we can press the plus sign and a pop-up screen comes up and shows us the new bookmark bubble cloud with this new bubble in the center of it. And if we go and edit this cloud, edit this bubble, we can change the size of the border and we can also change the color of that border around the bubble. The automatic thumbnail creator picked a color based on the colors of the web page, but you can change it with these controls right here. And now if I click on this new bubble, it is going to fill the screen. And by the time it fills the screen, the web browser have already loaded the web page. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please don't forget to give a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you want more videos like this. And if you like the app, you can help a great deal if you go into the user feedback menu item and press the I love it button to give a five star rating for the application. It helps more than you can imagine.